Leak Code by far is one of the most advanced and popular interview preparation websites, but that begs the question, should you purchase Leak Code Premium in 2020? Especially when there is an abundance of resources out there outside of the Leak Code platform that will allow you to prepare for your interviews. So that is the question I'm going to be answering in today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. I release videos just like this and coding tutorials every single week. And without further ado, let's get into it. So first let's go into the pricing. If you're doing a monthly subscription, you're gonna pay $35 a month. However, if you pay a yearly subscription, that number will be $159 per year. So if you do the math between a monthly and yearly subscription for a full year, the monthly subscription would cost you $420 in one year. So doing the yearly subscription technically would save you $261. However, that does mean you have to lock in that price for the full year. So let's talk about the features that LeetCode Premium gives us. The first is now we have access to all 1,563 problems. And this number might be different by the time I release this video, but there is a lot of problems that you will have access to in order to prepare for your interviews. If you don't have LeetCode Premium, many problems have a lock symbol next to them, and that means you are not allowed to access them. Along with many more problems that you have access to, you also have more extensive sorting options. This by far is the biggest draw for LeetCode Premium in my opinion, because you can look up questions by specific companies. This is really powerful because you can perform interview preparation around one or two companies that you're planning to interview for. On the right hand side, you can see that I have access to top Amazon, Facebook, Google, and LinkedIn questions. In addition to that, I can also see the frequency of how often a question is asked. So if I'm preparing for my Amazon interview, I can sort by frequency and solve maybe the first 10 or 20 questions in order to be better prepared because the likeliness of those questions being asked since they've been reported more frequently is very high. Another feature that I really like that Premium provides are written articles for different solutions. So any problems marked with a little paper icon, that means they have a written article about all possible solutions to solve that specific problem. Most of the time, the brute force and optimized approaches are explained in these articles. However, there are times where I feel like the articles can be poorly written and kind of obscure, hard to understand. So I would not get LeetCode Premium just for this feature. However, it is a nice addition because there can be some good articles in the LeetCode solutions. The next premium feature is auto completion. Auto completion is a pretty cool feature. It allows you to access the APIs of whatever language that you're writing in inside of LeetCode. But it is kind of a double-edged sword because in an interview, you're probably not going to have auto completion at your disposal. So writing LeetCode solutions without auto completion, in my opinion, will better prepare you for your interviews. The next premium feature is quicker submissions. So this is actually really useful because let's say you're writing your code for whatever problem and you're running test cases on it, you can pretty much spam this button and it will execute your code every time. Since you have premium, you have priority over other people that don't. So you will get responses from their servers a lot quicker. One of the more useful premium features is interview simulation. With this feature, you are timed and you must complete a problem set. And these problem sets are specific to different companies. The problems given in these mock interviews are simply taken from the leak code problem set. So they're not new questions. They're essentially just a subset of the many problems that they already have on the platform. So what this does mean is that there is a good chance if you've been solving problems on leak code, you will run into repeat questions if you do these mock interviews several times. What I do like about this feature is it times you. So if you're not used to solving problems under a time constraint, this is a really useful feature. The final premium feature is unlimited playgrounds. Playgrounds allow you to run code in an integrated environment in whatever language that you choose. So in each playground, you can choose to do what you want. You can maybe write some code in Java, write some code in Python or another one, write some code in C++ and another one. It's really up to you. Each playground is completely separate from another. Even without premium, you still have access to this feature, but with it, you have unlimited playgrounds. If you don't have premium, the max would be 10. Also, if you have premium, you can sort playgrounds by specific folders. So as you can see, I have different folders created for Google, Amazon, and I can add my playgrounds into those folders, which is really 
really just for organization. So overall, is Leak Code Premium worth it in 2020? I would say it is only worth it if you are planning to go to a big tech company because then you can prepare for that specific company by looking up all of the questions that are asked by them. In addition to that, you'll be able to view problems that have been asked by that company within the past zero to six months. The 159 per year price is negligible to what you would get in return if you got an offer from one of these big tech companies. However, if you are not planning to go to a big tech company, I would say it is probably not necessary. I did not end up at a big tech company. I ended up just doing normal preparation on leak code without premium and I passed my interviews fine and I'm sure many of you can too. Now obviously I do have leak code premium but the main reason for purchasing it was specifically for this YouTube channel. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with all of your interview preparation. I know it can be really difficult. If you found this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I release videos like this and coding tutorials every single week. And if you want access to my private Discord channel, you can go and support me on Patreon. So that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.